This is the Gamma Turbo, an advanced printed-in-place RC car. It's similar to the Gamma 2, but on steroids. The Gamma Turbo has front suspension, rear suspension, pivot point for the rear pod, and a differential. It also has an improved motor mount for a lower center of gravity. These improvements allow it to be a lot more versatile on rough terrain than the Gamma 2. And it's significantly better on the racetrack as well. The turbo is as complete as a printed in place pre-assembled RC car can be. In this video, I'm going to show you how to mechanically unlock the Gamma Turbo. For mounting the electronics, watch the Gamma 2 setup guide linked in the description. I strongly recommend printing the Gamma 2 first, which is free, before moving on to this more advanced version. The Turbo is a complex print, but it was designed to print on a stock Ender 3 or better. Read the recommended settings and make sure that your printer is calibrated. The differential will be the most difficult part to unlock. It will unlock by twisting the rear wheels if you print it just right. But if you want to play it safe, cut off the little supports at the bottom of the differential as shown here. Careful not to damage the axle. At this point, you have everything unlocked. It will sound a little crunchy, but that's okay. You will notice the rear axle is a little flimsy. Designing a differential that prints as a single unit was not an easy feat. To reinforce it, you'll want to insert a two millimeter wide, 70 millimeter long rod in the rear axle. Use the openings around the differential to lubricate the gears inside. It'll reduce the crunchiness and make it run smoother. Make sure to lubricate every moving part. It will ensure that all the parts move smoothly and prevent the plastic from fusing at high speed. On the steering rack, there's one micro support that needs to be cut off. Finally, we can install the rubber bands that will give the turbo its suspension. The front one is pretty straightforward. For the rear, this is my technique, but feel free to experiment. Different rubber bands will need different levels of tension. This technique allows some basic calibration of the rubber band's tension by moving one strand from one side of the knob to the other. You will need a 10 tooth 0.5 module pinion gear for the motor. The turbo is designed to accommodate both brushed and brushless motors. At this point, you can start mounting the electronics. See my previous video for assistance with that. I've included two test samples that you can use to dial in your settings instead of printing the full car. One is the differential by itself, and the other one is the entire car with chunks taken out of it so it'll print in less time. You will see two versions of the turbo, one with a nose for the bodies that I designed, and one with screw holes to accommodate Kyosho Mini Z body clips. There's also an updated version of the butthead body, which is a little bit wider and has updated wheel wells for the suspension. The turbo is scalable, but keep in mind that the tolerances will change and you'll have to source different hardware. 
This one was printed at 150% scale with a 0.3 layer height and a 0.4 nozzle. A 0.6 nozzle would have worked as well. At 75%, you'll want to use a layer height of 0.15 and a nozzle of 0.3. Keep into account layer and nozzle size when scaling. The turbo has been my attempt of making the ultimate printed in place RC car. A lot of hours and a lot of passion has gone into it, so I hope you'll enjoy it.